click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I'm going to talk about five reasons why the women that you date are unattractive. Okay. Five reasons why. See, I get a lot of guys that hit me up and they're like, yo, Mr. Locario, how do I get the bad chicks? How do I get the hot girls? Right. And the reason why they're saying this is because they're not getting the hot girls. So they're going out there, they're dating, but they're not really getting the, the hot chicks that they really want. So I'm going to give you five reasons why most of the women that you date or most of the women that are attracted to you or that you're attracting are unattractive, below average or average looking chicks, right? So the first reason I have on this list is you're the type of guy who waits for choosing signals, okay? You're the type of guy who waits for choosing signals. So if you are the type of guy who's strictly just waiting for choosing signals in order to interact with a woman, most of the women that you uh, get with, they're going to be average, below average, unattractive because these are the type of women in a lot of cases who are going to give you the choosing signals. A lot of times you're not going to get like the hottest chicks the when you choosing signals all the time. See, first of all, when it comes to choosing signals, you're not even going to be getting that many choosing signals in the first place. Right. And this is what you guys have to understand. When a chick is giving you a choosing signal and she's making it blatantly obvious that she's, you know, checking you out, she's attracted to you, whatever it is. Right. If you don't approach her, she's going to take that as a rejection. Right. Because she's basically letting you know, hey, I want you to come talk to me. Now, if you're too scared to go and talk to her, which most guys are scared to go and talk to women, which is why most guys are waiting for the choosing signals. Right. So, you know, you're going to be scared to talk to her and then she's going to take it as a rejection. So if the girl is a hot chick, right, and usually the hottest girls usually are the most insecure because since they're, you know, really hot, they're always worried about their looks and they know that other guys are checking them out and all this other stuff, right? If that hot girl is giving you a choosing signal and you don't come over and approach, she's gonna take that as a rejection. And it's gonna be a blow to her ego. Now, what happens is you have the more average to below average looking women who will just do it anyway because they're like, fuck it. They're, they're checking you out. They might, you know, find you attractive or whatever it is. And even though it's going to be a blow to their ego, if you don't approach and they're going to feel rejected, it's not as much of a blow to them than it would be to the hotter girl. You understand what I'm saying? Which is why they're more likely to, you know, give you that choosing signal. You understand what I'm saying? And what happens is, is that the type of women who, um, you know, aren't that hot, they're going to be a little bit more aggressive with their approach than the hot chicks. You understand? It just is what it is. So understand that the reason why you're dating, you know, these unattractive or average looking chicks is because you're the type who waits for choosing signals. And then you go and approach the girl who gave you that choosing signal, who's usually an average girl. And then therefore you end up dating that average or below average or unattractive woman right now. Second reason why, uh, you know, you're dating unattractive women is because you're unattractive. OK, you're dating unattractive women because you're unattractive and understand like attracts like right now. When I say unattractive, I'm not just talking about looks. I know dudes always go to the just looks thing when when it when it comes to talking about being attractive. Right. So when I say you're unattractive, I'm talking about overall, like everything. You understand? It could be, you know, your looks. It could be your appearance. It could be also, you know, your confidence. It could be your mouthpiece. All these things that make you unattractive if it's not on point. You understand what I'm saying? And so uh, fortunately for you guys out there, there's so many different things that you can do to make yourself attractive. So the more attractive you make yourself, the more you're going to attract more attractive women. You see what I'm saying? And so the thing is, is that the more unattractive you are, the more that you're going to attract unattractive women. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that if you want to attract more attractive women, you have to become more attractive right now. The third reason that you are dating unattractive women or below average looking women is that you are not approaching hot women. You're not approaching hot women. 
So, you know, I had a caller call into the show that me and Steve did the other day. And he was like, yo, how do I get more of these hot girls and stuff? And I basically told him, I said, bruh, talk to more hot women. And matter of fact, just talk to the hot women. You understand? If you see a chick who you think is average looking, below average looking, don't even talk to her. You understand? Just talk to exclusively to the hot women you feel what i'm saying because then if you're only talking to hot women and you get any one of them guess what you just got a hot chick <laughs> you understand what i'm saying but a lot of these guys are too scared to approach hot women right so a lot of guys go for women they think are average or below average because they're like well she's more she probably is going to be easier to get with this is what guys think with but that's not true um that's a whole nother video Right. And they're scared or they're intimidated to approach the hot women so they don't get those hot girls. So therefore, because they're only approaching the average looking women, you understand? This is what happens when they they'll start dating those type of girls. Right. They'll start dating the average looking or unattractive chicks. Right. So that's number three. Now, the fourth reason why most of the women that you date are unattractive or average looking is because you're insecure. You understand? See, you're not confident when you're a guy who's not confident, right? You don't have the confidence to go and approach the hot girls. You don't have the confidence to attract the hot women. You understand what I'm saying? Because see, when you're insecure, right? Most women aren't going to find you attractive anyway. You understand? And then because you're insecure, you're going to go for the women that you think are easier to get with. And again, you think the more unattractive women are easy to get with. And you go for those unattractive women. You see what I'm saying? So your insecurity is causing you to end up dating these unattractive below average or average chicks. Now, the fifth reason why you date unattractive women is because you put hot chicks on a pedestal. You understand? You put hot chicks on a pedestal. See, I hear a lot of guys, you know, they'll say, you know, even asking the question, well, how do I get the hot girls? How do I get the hot girls? See, Asking that question is putting hot women on a pedestal because you think there's something different or something you have to do something special. You got to do some sort of like, you know, magic technique, right? To get the hot girls. That's you putting them on a pedestal. You see what I'm saying? And so what happens is, is that because you're putting them on a pedestal, right? When you try to interact with these hot girls, you know, if you have the confidence or the courage to, you know, make it happen, right? To approach them. When you do talk to them, you're kind of nervous sometimes, you know, you're you're making it a big event, you're making it a big deal. And then therefore you're acting like the type of guy who's never been around a hot woman. And then so that hot girl, she's not really uh, going to be attracted to you because she sees you as a guy who, you know, what I'm saying he, he's just like, eh, you know, he, you're just kind of nervous and you're just kind of. Uh, not that confident dude she's going to be attracted to. So then therefore, because you're putting them on a pedestal, they're not going to be attracted to you. And then you're going to have to just fall back on the unattractive women. You're going to have to fall back on the average chicks. You feel what I'm saying? So understand that, you know, the reason why you're, you know, getting all of these women who are unattractive or average looking and all this other stuff is because it's how you're coming at the game. You understand what I'm saying? The way that you guys are coming at the game that is making the situation to where you are basically going to keep getting these women who are unattractive, average or below average looking. So you got to switch it up. You got to step up your game. You have to, you know, have a different mindset. You got to come at the game differently. You understand? You got to be more confident. You got to be more attractive. You got to go and actually approach these hot women. Stop putting them on a pedestal. And then you'll start to date hotter women. You understand? It's that simple. But see, a lot of guys, they're, you know, too scared to do these things. Right. And then they just sort of settle for the average to unattractive women. You understand what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.
What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. And what I want to talk about today is the Bad Boy Membership Contest. All you have to do to be eligible to win the Bad Boy Membership Contest is to be a Bad Boy member. See, what we realize is that when guys join the Bad Boy Membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. So here's what you receive if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. A bottle of Bad Boy Cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece. And a $100 gift card. To increase your chances of winning, share this post in your story, tag three friends, and subscribe to Mr. Lucario or the Miles Cunningham YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. And follow Real Mr. Lucario and Miles in the Game on Instagram. The winner will be announced at the first of the month. Good luck. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck, and I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.